The Formula 1 silly season for 2023 has been one of the most volatile in recent memory, including shock driver moves, courtroom contract clashes and potential surprise comebacks. But as we wait for the next moves that could impact the likes of Pierre Gasly, Mick Schumacher, Nick De Vries, Antonio Giovinazzi, Nico Hülkenberg, Jack Doohan, the list goes on and on. There's one name that hasn't been coming up so often in the driver market discussions. When Daniel Ricciardo announced at the end of August he would be leaving McLaren for 2023 with one year left on his contract, he made clear this was not his last hurrah in Formula 1. He remained hungry to prove himself at the top level and rediscover the kind of form that made him so hard to beat at his peak with Red Bull. Ricciardo knew upon leaving McLaren that he would not have a vast array of options if he wanted to land a seat on the grid for next year. The only teams with realistic openings for him were Alpine, Alfa Romeo, Williams and Haas. But amid all the paddock chatter surrounding the four teams and their plans for next year, Ricardo is not someone who is at the centre of the conversation. It may seem crazy for a driver who just 12 months ago was celebrating a Grand Prix victory and was once tipped as world champion material, but Ricardo could find himself slipping through the net in the market for next year. Firstly, what seats are still up for grabs at the moment? Alpha is widely expected to retain Joe Guan Yu for 2023 after impressing through his rookie season. Alpine has set its sights on Pierre Gasly, but appeared it may face trouble signing him as the FIA refused to grant IndyCar star Colton Herta exemption for a super license. Red Bull originally said it would only let Gasly go if it could sign Herta for its AlphaTauri sister team. But it emerged last weekend that Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko met with Nick De Vries in Austria putting the Dutchman on the radar for a potential AlphaTauri seat next year. De Vries is also set to be in action testing for Alpine this week, which has been exploring options if it could not land Gasly. Antonio Giovinazzi is also testing for the team, while Nico Hülkenberg is also thought to be of interest. Both of those drivers are also in contention for a seat with Haas. Alpine Academy driver Jack Doohan is also in the mix to replace Fernando Alonso after his impressive rookie campaign in Formula 2. So where does Ricardo fit into all of this, and how has he ended up potentially facing a year on the sidelines? The best seat available for Ricardo upon leaving McLaren was at Alpine, who Ricardo raced for in 2019 and 2020 when it was known as Renault. The nature of Ricardo's exit from McLaren left a sour taste for many at Renault, and although Otmar Safnauer said this would not be a deal breaker for a potential return to Endstone for Ricardo, it's left a lot of doubt over the viability of such a partnership. The fashion in which Alpine is evaluating other drivers also points to the unease over bringing Ricardo back. The idea of Ricardo racing at Haas seemed like a good match, given the team's American links and his own personality. I'm sure we'd all love to see Ricardo and Gunter Steiner in a Netflix episode together, but Haas already has the kind of experience Ricardo could bring in the shape of Kevin Magnussen, and also has the financial considerations to bear in mind. Ricardo's McLaren payout means he hardly needs a mega bucks deal but Haas may decide there are better fits out there for the long term. Steiner has said that Haas must be careful when it comes to looking at options for 2023, questioning why things didn't work out for Ricardo at McLaren. So that leaves Williams, who got a chance to see just what Nick DeVries is capable of through his Monza cameo. Williams boss Jos Capito said after the race there was nothing else DeVries could do to make a case for a seat in 2023, suggesting it was down to elements in the background that may decide his future. But if it were to lose out on De Vries to AlphaTauri, then Formula 2 driver Logan Sargent might be an option to make the step up with Williams, assuming he can clinch the required super license points. All three teams have their fates intertwined, such is the nature of this year's driver market. It means hope is not yet lost for Ricardo, but if he does end up spending a year out, he's already made clear that it won't be the end of the world, and that he won't jump in a car for 2023 just for the sake of it. If it's not meant to be, then I'm totally okay with that, said Ricardo at Monza. I'm not going to be too proud. We certainly haven't given up on it, but that's kind of where my head is at at the moment. The F1 grid would be a much poorer place without Ricardo in 2023, not only for his personality and all the laughs he brings, but for the great competitor and the driver that we know he can be. But as things stand, a sabbatical might be the route Daniel Ricardo goes down for next year before setting his sights on a Formula 1 comeback down the line.